Well, the wait is nearly finally over. Soon, a little better winter will be upon us within a month's time. God, I'll be waiting. Originally, it was meant to come out in December, around Christmas time, but it had to be scheduled or rescheduled back by a couple of months because of uh, Alcraman. Yes, I know. DC. You had to come first, literally. <sighs> anyway, so... Uh, Yours truly, James Cameron, writer or director of The Terminator, Avatar, and many others, as of course, I believe it or not, done the script as well as that of a big huge 600 and uh, trimmed down to a 300 page treatment of Battleita Angel, Angel, that's what I meant, and um, of course, uh, Alita was based on the Gunnam manga comics, it's based on the manga, which that came out, I don't know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 80s or 90s, somewhere around that. Followed by an animated TV series, I think that came out during the 80s or 90s, possibly the 90s, I think, yeah. Could be early 90s, I don't know, I don't know, that far back. But, um, you know, it's around a girl who used to be Vance Weapon, who uh, crash landed the Iron City and is found by Dr. Igor, whatever his name is, and... Uh, uh, well, he's obviously a doctor in robotics and cybernetics and all that, and uh, quickly rescued by her and is put together, and uh, you know goes on a journey of self-discovery about who she is, what she is, where she came from, trying to find out what happened to her memories, her past life, all that, etc., etc., and uh, some dirty, horrible things going on behind the scenes. You know, with what's happened in the Gladiator Arena of War Cyborgs and all that. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time in the making. I mean, uh, you know, the many directors or writers that come to the project and just couldn't put it together because they just couldn't get a proper idea of what they wanted for Alita until that of uh, James Cameron. True, yes, he originally wanted to direct, but... Uh, Decided to write instead because he was too busy with the Avatar projects. You know, he's already doing Aussie, like Avatar 2, 3, and 4, maybe Avatar 5 back to back. So uh, it's a long trek there. And, uh, you know, this manga has a lot of history behind it. You know, I found dozens of comics on that of uh, Amazon and, uh, as well as the original animated TV series video. Which I think is on either DUD or VHS. I know it's rare, it's hard to get. But you know, talking about all the interviews, all the cast promoting and doing so much campaign for Elita Battle Angel and the scenes, being on the set, it's terrific. You know, I saw video footage of it, it's just brilliant it's how I imagined it and how it should be. But putting the original vision together and uh, trying to keep us faithful as the original mag imitate, but also readapting it and reimagining it for cinema. And it needed reinvention because it couldn't be the same as how it was in the original graphic novel or comic book version, manga book versions of Battle of Alita. Originally titled Battle Angel of Alita or Rusty Angel, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, you know. Spawned a life of its own, really. And, uh... It's just great that, you know, that uh, they found a director who truly believes in this vision, who's bringing it together. And that's Rob Ridges, who's done Sin City and many others, like Spy Kids and Planet Terror, I think that's what it's called, yeah, and just many others. I know he did Dawn by Dusk or something like that in the early mid-90s, something like that with George Clooney and all that. And um, perfect director, it. that's why James Cameron chose him, so that's good. I know what you're thinking, it's PG-13 rated, I only know, should it be 15 or 18 rated, I only know, so we can see more gore and blood, but that's what it's about, it's about an independent woman who's trying to find herself in her own way in the world, you know, and um, battle against evil regimes that threaten people, civilization and all that, you know, it's what she's up against really. And, uh, you know, it's trying to, uh, sorry, that's my dog in the background. They're missing their mummy and dad at the moment, who's out at the gym and uh, work and all that. Sorry, I'm just uh, 
excitement. It's going to be really good when this comes out. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. I don't want it being too terribly long. So, um, I think I'll leave it at that for now because I'm just getting a little bit, uh, you know, oh dear. but you know what I mean, and I'm hoping you enjoy it as much as I will. Just give me a brief history of how far and popular this uh, manga novel comic book series was from the 80s or 90s and uh, I hope you enjoy as much as I will. I hope that's a brief introduction history about it. I didn't want to make it too terribly long. Okay, let's go because my dogs are getting a little bit worried. Better tend to them. All right then, see you later folks. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.